Our old DM tried to soft reboot the series then rage quit halfway through the first session. Join our new game I DM. Immediately get salty I didn't give her important story points because her PC's backstory is a scholar and got super defensive that I had lizard folk live in swamps saying I guess they're just monsters to you. You probably don't read the lore. <laughs> <laughs> well okay like lizard folks yeah living in swamps yeah it works you know. Her OG character in an old campaign we ran was another lizard, go figure, who attacked children and went into graphic detail of how she ate them. Like all lizard folk should. <laughs> oh, also, like if you if you play a lizard folk and, and you don't not, eat kids and, and you're not cannibalizing and you're not turning every every human you come across into like bone spears and <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah. What are what you, are you doing? doing? Like why why even bother playing a lizard person? That's like the whole fun part yeah. of being a lizard person. They also had these problems. One never showing up to games. Two, wanting to switch classes constantly. Three, never interacting with anyone then complaining their character is bleak and boring. Four, insulted the way I DM all the time, wanting me to allow extra action for no movement so they could spam spells. Where do you start with that? Oh, fuck. You know what I mean? If you don't show up, that's your problem. If you don't show up, you don't have a say in anything Anything. that's going on in the game. You may as well not be your game. Exactly. You know what I mean? Why bother? I get it, come on to swap classes, but like, you know, just be happy with what you got. Well, you don't come, so you don't, you won't even have the ability to play the other class. I know, I know. The other one, and not interacting, like, why bother? Yeah. But why, oh, I, my role play is bad. <laughs> just like that, age, would you? You know what I mean? Deal like yourself. And then backseat DM is just annoying, let's be serious. It's always annoying. Like, you know, there's, there's not it's much worse. the biggest worse. pet peeve of mine. Yeah, it's like, okay, don't do Let them do that, fucking do that, do that, do that, do that. It's like, no, just let them work away. It's fine, it's fine. Fucker also had the audacity to come in mid-game on Discord and say to me how she's taking a cantrip to mock me, thinking I can't work around cantrips. Wait, what? What does that mean? What? Does it mean that she just showed up in the middle? Like she wasn't showed even, up in the middle of it. She wasn't mid-game? even playing. No. And be like, oh, by the way, I'm doing this. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you do? Thankfully, she's gone from the games, and we got a much better player instead, who's a great asset. What's some bullshit you've had to deal with? Honestly, why was she even there? I know. Like, I'm shocked that they, she even hung about for that long. Because, like, if you're not having fun... Why are you there? If wh- you're not enjoying you the then? game, just fucking leave. Like, you know, yeah. stop being a moody little bitch about it. Exactly. The first and last time I played at a public session for a Star Wars RPG, we had a stereotypical fat artist in the group. Guy was a field Jedi and tried to hinder any more aggressive strats that other players did. Eventually, we just stopped showing up at the store and played at one of our houses. The That's other really thing sad. Is, I know, I but like, <laughs> fuck him. You, know, you kind of have to do that. The other time was the last time I played X-Wing. The group I used to play with was about 12 strong. That's a big group. Yeah. Well, it's X-Wing, so well, it's not that as bad. It, yeah. it, you know, if you're doing tournaments and stuff, it's yeah. actually not too bad. When the store we played at moved to a new location, it became me and this other guy. Dude was boring to play with and was all business. Usually we'd play net lists. He beat me nine times out of ten, but one time I beat him with a homemade list and he got salty. I hate poor sportsmanship, be it someone who wins or loses. Yeah. You come across that quite often, though, with war games. Yeah. War games, the, sport, the, the level of sportsmanship. Like, you can tell when somebody's taking the piss, it's like, hey, fuck you. <laughs> get up. You yeah. just get that pile of dice <laughs> Yeah, you can tell when somebody's just taking the piss and yeah. having fun with it. Like, uh-huh. having a fun... It's one of those ones. I but when people back, actually like, get salty and they like, pack their shit in silence and then walk away, it's like, <laughs> it's a game, boy. Don't give a look. It can be a bit disheartening whenever like you spend hours painting your army, but you don't have to do that in the next wing, so there's uh-huh. no point. But like, you know, 40k, for example, you spend hours and hours painting your army. It looks really beautiful. Yeah. You have set up. It looks really yeah, nice. Yeah, but everybody wants and loses. I know, but then you just get curb stomped repeatedly and it's, yeah. it is kind of sad. Don't play it, games if you don't want to lose. I know, I know. There's a learning curve down mm-hmm. the thing. I tried playing 9th edition 40k, and this was going to be my first big game recently. Went and built the Sisters of Battle Army out of that set that came out, and this guy who knew I was new brings a competitive Thousand Sons army. 500 point game. Killed me on his first turn. Nice. He nice. Knew, why like, do why, that to somebody you know who's new to the game? Like, Fuck off. It's hard to get people into 40k. I know. It's so, really hard to get No players. fucking wonder, because it's, you walk in board gaming centres and they're all like... <laughs> <laughs> you know nothing. <laughs> uh, we don't see talking from experience at all. <laughs> uh, cheating bastards. Don't send me cheating bastards. <laughs> yeah. 
Now I just build the models and mainly play Kill Team with some friends who care more about just having fun. Probably won't ever get to really play a fun game of regular 40k, but that's okay if it means I don't have to deal with dipshits anymore. Same with RPGs. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm ha- he's worked play it out. Play for fun, it's fine. Yeah, he's worked it out. Good on you. Had a player who wanted to play an evil character. Basically the stereotypical chaotic neutral, except even worse. Oh no. <laughs> Assaulting other PCs, lying to them about critical information, insulting them constantly, getting them kicked out of kingdoms or nearly getting them kicked out with her impulsively, trying to trap them into Lotus Eater machines forever. Any reasonable person would have killed her, obviously, and it has been brought up several times. The player really needs to tone down her behaviour because there's no reasonable explanation for why most of the party would stick around with her. That's what I always get, like... Why are you here? Like, why, why are you here? Okay, okay, let's let's put ourselves. Why are you running? <laughs> let's put ourselves in the situation. Why imagine, aren't you running? <laughs> imagine we're a party and we got some boy that's with us. We've been traveling with him for a few days. We're out, you know, killing skeletons, all the usual hero, like you know, yeah. stuff, whatever. We've been in a few dungeons, whatever. If this guy's actively near enough to kind of get us killed on the daily, are we going to keep him about? No. You know, there's a good one actually from uh, you know like the Vietnam War, mm-hmm. where apparently, like, say if they're out in the middle of nowhere. Um, say like you know officers and stuff that the, the boys just didn't get along with yeah apparently it was they did one of these happened every single day for the last six or seven years of the Vietnam War mm-hmm. like every day this would happen they would chuck a grenade into his tent and then just say oh yeah he got killed by the he got killed by the Viet Cong so he did out in patrol walked into a landmine there's a couple of people I wish I could do that with not yeah. even lie. apparently it was really common yeah well <laughs> like, cool, cool fact so I had an NPC basically lay into the PC, not the player, for being a bad person, telling them they'd end up alone if they kept their behaviour. Now the player freaks the fuck out. They throw an absolute fit. How dare someone call my evil character evil? How, How dare, dare you? How, How dare, dare you? you? <laughs> Don't they know about her lit tragic backstory? <laughs> this is abuse. <laughs> the PC then proceeds to abandon the party to throw his in-character fit except he was actually mad out of character, refusing to progress with the plot because they are a literal child basically throwing a tantrum. I guess sometimes it just seems like players don't understand that actions have consequences. Like if you act like an evil jer- jackass. Jerkass. 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 Jerkops. This is, like <laughs> Jerkops. A, is this Chris Chab? <laughs> Jerkops are coming. Like if you act like an evil jerkass, people will start to treat you like an evil jerkass. This wasn't in D&D, by the way, before anyone says anything. What do you do with people like that? You know, this is where I kind of agree with, like, you know, um, Lacedaemonians and mm-hmm. new Spartans. When a new, one, new child is born, you know, the elders would inspect them, make sure they're up to snuff. And if they weren't up to snuff, chuck them off the lock. Beast. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, You can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) And like, let's be serious. The models are pretty based looking. So once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties. (laughs) But anyway, let's continue on with the video. He was pure soy. Went all passive aggressive and bitchy anytime anyone was ever mean to anyone else. Oh no, goblins are raiding caravans. Do they know that those animal handlers need the job? We should bake them cookies and tell them to stop. <laughs> oh no, stop killing all the goblins. I'm sure they come around if we just explain to them the consequences of their actions and how they need to be nicer. Oh no, what do you mean the caravan master paid us to kill the goblins? Doesn't she know that will mean more people will sign up to kill more goblins if you incentivize it? How can we be part and paid genocide? Oh no! (laughs) Why did the other goblins attack my character when he wandered away from the rest of the party? Don't they know I don't approve of everyone else's violence? Why aren't they responding to my soy? (laughs) One character tortured to death later and a new one rolled up. Oh no! No! (laughs) Why would I join with such violent people? I don't want to live like that. Can't we just run a library or something instead of murdering things for money? I'm putting it out here like now. 
So this is a guy. This is a guy that tried to say that giant orcs represent black people. Yeah. No. That peak. 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 Like you know, I'm sorry to say, but like, see if you actually genuinely think, oh, um, giant orcs. Obviously, they represent black people. Like, what's going on? Like, you know, seriously, that's some like that's why I genuinely do believe people like this have got like some really repressed soy, <laughs> soy and genuine like actual racism. Yeah. Like me. What makes you think this? Nobody else felt that. I You're never, literally I, the only people. Like, I, whenever I first came across, I was like, wait, hold up here. I thought they were taking pass. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was like, wait, come on now. Worst player I've ever known is the Weeaboos. They keep trying to cross class on their first character and come in with really shitty art they've commissioned off their stick-limbed, rainbow-haired characters and never played anything with a strength above eight, thinking they can get by with decks alone. Not in my games. I can't tell you how happy I was when he went against the party who decided not to fuck with the dragon and tried to steal a powerful artifact from his horde, only for the dragon to spot him on a solo mission, kill him and then eat him, and it took out of character begging for the rest of the party to even think about reviving his precious OC. (laughs) What do you do with that? (laughs) What do you do? Like, what do you think of going on a solo mission? Oh, I got really high decks. I can sneak. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, you can't. I'm telling you right now, it's a bad idea. You think you can? You still... can't go up against the dragon. No, it's just, it's just a bad idea. Well, that's a sorry cat. for a cat squealing. Oh. Had a character charge headlong into melee with a super squishy caster. He then became visibly angry when his character ate shit. I didn't think much of it because the session ended right there. Later in a game someone else was GMing, his character did poorly in an encounter through sheer bad luck, and the player became a passive-aggressive bitch for the rest of the session. Oh, please, I can't stop that type. Totally killing the mood for everyone else. I initially believed that it must have been some out-of-game stuff that caused his bad mood, because I'd never seen him as that petty of a person. Then in another session I ran, the party made a series of incredibly poor decisions, and wound up in a difficult fight. Player is visibly upset, again, dragging down the mood for us all. Now, I realise that he is actually just a petty bastard. Even thinking back to when I first started playing with him, he never did much to improve the game. Just made totally inappropriate characters and dumb jokes. What do you do with that? Like, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Like, you know, it is really nice. See, whenever you're, like, in a game and you, your goals are just really good mm-hmm. that night, it does be. I mean, this is actually pretty big. Base. Base. You know what I mean? It, yeah. it is nice. Yeah. Like, you know, see when you're rolling and you just constantly get them. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get that, and like other nights, it's you like, just roll it's shit. It's like me. I mean, it's because I can't. I may as well be. Like, and don't get me wrong. Fucking my dick on the table be- because I'm <laughs> rolling shit. Like, you know, don't get me wrong. I can understand why people would be like, oh, you know, uh, be- why would you get that genuine? But it's a pure game of chance. Like, why do you even let that? All you can do is improve your chances. Yeah. That's all you can do. Yeah. Like, you know, you're never going to be completely be all and end all. You're never always going to be completely useless. You know, it yeah. really is a game of chance and you're just improving the probabilities yeah. by moving stuff about. You know what I mean? I had a guy once. Got invited to do a game I was DMing. Was a friend of one of the players, so I said, sure, why not? Guy shows up and is your stereotypical no hygiene nerd. He, <laughs> re- <laughs> he reeked of toenail fungus and piss. Oh my god, that's the most with a, vile thing I could With think a of. hint of mouldy cheese. <laughs> I got already gag her, Abby. Had long, unkempt hair with a scraggly beard both grey with age and he was sagging from obesity in places that were not intended to sag. See, the, see older fellas, what are you doing? Like, see if you're past the age of, like, 25 and you stink to high heaven. What? Sort yourself Just out. Stop like, honestly, sort your fucking self out. You've got no excuse anymore. Like, you're a fucking adult. You're, a, you're, you're an, an actual, actual adult. fucking adult. Sort that shit out, would you? But whatever. I've known stinky people who were still decent sorts. This guy was not Came to the game with a warlock. I can't remember his Patreon, but... The Leon. Patreon. <laughs> hey, guys, subscribe to, <laughs> subscribe to my Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, this is actually a good segue. Uh, we're actually working on a new uh, warlock class at the minute called the Big Titty Golf Girl. Yeah. Um, it also works for the OnlyFans subscription. You guys are going to love it. It's a new meme class, but <laughs> I don't want to say too much. But let's keep going. So he came to the game with a warlock. I can't remember his patron, but it doesn't matter. For reference, this was D&D 5th edition. I was running Princes of the Apocalypse. When he joined, the party was at a farm about to be beset by an orc horde. 
so the party spent a day fortifying the perimeter and getting in defence positions. When the battle started, the warlock just sat on a roof and spent his turns drawing the orcs. Oh, oh my, my god. god. I was beyond baffled. That more or less describes all his interactions for the few weeks he stayed with the group. He was aloof and uninvested in interacting with the other PCs or the NPCs, be it in social interactions or combat. There were some token eldritch blasts, but on a whole, if he wasn't there, the only difference it would have made was that it would have smelled nicer. The guy who invited him insisted he was actually a really good player over and over again, and that he was just going through a rough spot. But I was glad he finally left my game for good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Sit on a roof and just drawing up works. Know, what does, the fuck? Like, he does that. Like, some, like I get it. I get it. What you? I kind of understand what he's trying to do. But at the same time, mate, you posted cringe and you should feel you bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cringe. I only started to pick up on how terrible this person was when I got to be a player for once and not a DM. Doesn't even care about combat, only wants to kill and loot stuff. Even when playing a support class, he only focuses on DPS and killing things even as a wizard or thief. Doesn't even read what his character can do. Whenever somebody has a problem, be it real or just frustration, he always tries to one-up them and how bad he has it right now. I hate people like that. Oh. You, ever bro- you ever broke an ankle? Oh, my oh, spine's broke. My spine? <laughs> oh my God, you have that? My cousin has a 10 times worse. Uh-huh. Oh God, please I hate stop. it, I hate it. That, you have that, a that, headache? <laughs> I have severe migraines all the time. <laughs> that, that, it honestly, that doesn't affect, that, 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 that transcends tabletop games. That, it's, it's just that, that person that who that always has to one-up you. Yeah, that Always has to one-up you. Oh God. You have a cat? I have Ray the Sun God. <laughs> <laughs> always plays chaotic evil. Nearly got the entire party killed over some gold. Uses video game logic for everything, such as picking up items do not require an action. Constantly cheats while being a min-maxer. Only interacts or roleplays if he can make a joke, insult somebody, or get to scam people. Com- I feel insulted there. I do, like, quite often. <laughs> you know, I yeah. just take advantage of it. Like, if I can make a good meme, I'll make a good meme, you know? <laughs> Combat wheelchair. Gives himself disabilities to get an advantage in social situations or to counter it off with a magic item, but then bitches if the DM uses it against him. Also bitches at the DM for doing anything small he doesn't like. Also bitches at players for doing anything he doesn't like that has no effect on him. Never helps out with the party, even when it's obvious he should be doing something. Goes on lone wolf missions. Fuck sake. Once somebody went to make lunch and he still wasn't done. The grip would lose nothing if he left. After he fucked me over for the third time in game, I told him to stop being a jackass and his first response was that I was trying to kick him. Of course everyone in the group was being spineless. They didn't pick a side, meaning what he was doing is perfectly fine to them. And what do you know? He was such a shitty player, nobody wants to play the game anymore, even when he can't show up. That's That's sad. Bullshit. That's really sad, to be honest with you. I think we'll segue into the outro. Yeah. <clears throat> so, to put it out there, let's be honest. I think the way to fix all these problems is, as I say, the way like Spartans, the way the Academonians did Just... it. Um, you get inspected at birth. <laughs> Do not look like you're up to snuff. If you look like the type that's going to go into being a weeb, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're getting the yeet. You're getting the yeet. You're getting the yeet. Everyone's getting, getting the, the yeet. <laughs> if you don't look like you're up to snuff at birth, I'm sorry, you're not worth it. And we can apply this to everything. Let's go further up. It's not just goal playing games. What can we go on to next? Just all night. You got a shitty co-worker. You know, finally, they, they were born to be a shitty co-worker. You know what I mean? With Everyone the, has their own destiny. Uh, and they were destined to be a shitty co-worker. <laughs> they were destined to be a dickhead. That's them. You get the yeet. I feel like, oh, you get the yeet. Now you get the yeet. Uh, you don't Snake Blue, the you get the yeet. Like- Tommy, you get the yeet. It <laughs> also is in the comment section all the time. You get the yeet too. <laughs> all right, fuck it. I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, check out the advert, all that other shit. You know the usual. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>